Okay, so when I woke up this morning, I got a notice from Google that their um, Gemini 1.5 Pro is now accepting audio input. So I'm going to run some tests on it. The reason I'm interested in this is that when they originally announced Gemini a few months ago, they said that it had um, a, the ability to, for example, to recognize pronunciation of, of, of in audio. So how somebody pronounces a particular word. And also that they um, it, it could recognize you know, intonation and things like this. So the other conversation models that have been available so far uh, for um, AI, things like the um, mobile app for ChatGPT or the Pi um, mobile app um, for as kind of a chatbot. As far as I know, they all work by first converting the speech into text, and that text is input into the model. And so that text does not contain any information about the pronunciation of words or the tone of voice or things like this. So I'm going to do a little demonstration right now of this just released um, Gemini 1.5 Pro. Um, it's in a public beta, I think. So let's see how it goes. So you can... I click here on this audio button right there, and there's a, one of the choices to uh, record new audio. So I get this, and once this, I, I click on that, it will start talking. So let me first just try, just I won't, I'll just try saying something and seeing how it goes. Um, hi, I want to run some tests with you to see how well you can recognize pronunciation, um, intonation, tone of voice, things like that. Okay, so as you can see, it takes it's kind of processing for a little bit. It's not fast um, in this regard, but now it's got the uh, the audio that I added, um, and so when I click on that, it uploads the audio that I just recorded. Okay, so it responds. Okay, I'm curious to see how well I can do. What kinds of tests do you have in mind? Okay, let's try one thing. I haven't tried this one yet. Okay, um, there's the word that I pronounce. Uh, garage, but some people pronounce it garage. What's the difference between garage and garage? I don't know if my <laughs> imitation pronunci British pronunciation worked very well, but let's see how it does with that. Okay, so it's, it's, so it replies, you're right, the word for a place where you park your car can be pronounced in two ways, garage with the emphasis on the first syllable and garage with the emphasis on the second syllable. The difference is primary regional, primarily regional. In the United States, garage emphasizes an emphasis on the first syllable is the more common pronunciation in British English, garage emphasis, whoops. It's got that backwards, doesn't it? Okay, so it, it heard the difference. But it's, it's explanation that garage is emphasized on the first syllable in American English is wrong, okay? Um, that's interesting. Um, so it, it, it did hear the difference, okay? But its knowledge about the pronunciation is incorrect. This, um, by the way, corresponds with other um, large language models being unable to <laughs> correctly explain, uh, for example, the spellings of words and things like this. So this might be a result of the tokenization issue or something else. That requires more testing. Okay, so that was an interesting result. We did hear the difference in how I pronounced it, but it, its knowledge about those two pronunciations was, was confused. Okay, let's try another one. Um, I'll, um, I'm in the same uh, conversation here. Okay, I'm going to say the same sentence in three different ways. Um, and tell me, what's the difference between my tone of voice in those three ways? So, I'm very happy to meet you. I'm very happy to meet you. I'm very happy to meet you. <laughs> Okay, I have to wait for it to upload the data, process it. And there we go, it's saving to my Google Drive. And now I click, I run the prompt. 
In the first example, your tone sounded generally pleased and enthusiastic. In the second example, that your tone was flatter and less enthusiastic, almost as if you were being sarcastic or insincere. In the third example, your tone was exaggerated and overly dramatic, suggesting excitement or possibly nervousness. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. So this is something that the, uh, none of the other uh, speech-to-text systems that I've tried, at least, or that I'm aware of, can do. Okay, so even though it can seem, you can seem to have a natural conversation with Pi or with ChatGPT to some extent, it's, 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 it's not hearing your voice. It's only reading the words that are transcribed there. So um, I can see a lot of applications for that. Let me try one more. I haven't tried this yet. I want to, I speak Japanese as a second language speaker of Japanese. My pronunciation of Japanese is pretty good, but I'm going to try... Um, speaking it like somebody who doesn't really <laughs> has a terrible Japanese accent, okay? And see if it can recognize how bad my Japanese accent is. Okay, so here we go. Um, hi, okay, I'm going to do one more test. Um, I am, uh, I'm learning Japanese, and I'm going to say something in Japanese, and I want you to comment on my uh, pronunciation and accent. So here goes. Kyo wa hijoni i tenki desu ne. Nanka, soto wa hijoni akarui hi ga sashite imasu. Watashi kyo soto ni ite doko ka ni aruki tai to omoimasu. Okay. Those of you who don't speak Japanese, that was that was even worse than my normal accent. Okay, let's see how that goes. See if it can comment on that at all. Okay. The pronunciation in Japanese it sounds very good. Your intonation and rhythm are natural, and you pronounce the individual sound. It's difficult for me to give specific without knowing your level. Okay. Well, that was that's not great. Okay, it should have it should have my intonation and rhythm were not natural. Okay, um, uh, so let me see if you can transcribe it. Can you can you transcribe what I said in Japanese? Let's see if it if it can even recognize that. I think that's what I said. I kind of translated it in, into English. So at least it 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 um it detected my <laughs> my my lousy pronunciation. Okay, so um what are the applications of this? I think there are probably a lot of applications um for language learning and also for more natural conversations. Um I asked, earlier I asked uh, Google, <laughs> Gemini 1.5, whether it would be possible to have a, a set up a system where both the speaker and the AI as a listener are speaking simultaneously. Okay, so this system right now, you saw I said something, I pressed a button, it was transmitted to it, and then we get a reply. In this case, the reply is only coming in text, but it's also possible for it to come in. in uh, I could set up a... A system using Google Cloud where it, it uses uh, text to speech, so we could be having a conversation, but it's kind of stilted. And so, one thing I'm interested in is whether um, we could have both streams going simultaneously, so that you could interrupt each other, or that you could do what's called back channeling. In other words, one one side is talking and the other person is going, "Uh huh, yeah, right, yeah." Right, so whether that would be possible in conversation. And Gemini 1.5 told me that would be possible to set up using Google's various APIs and things. Maybe I'll try that, but maybe other people will want to give it a try too. So um, so this is yet another step forward in the language use by artificial intelligence. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>